Welcome to Acadiana Live. It's the first and only lifestyle show here in Acadiana. I'm Darla Montgomery, sitting in for your host, Lydia Alcala. Today, we're speaking with Lafayette's Mayor President Josh Guillory about the upcoming debate in our Bowl of Gumbo. But before we chat with him and get to our headlines, the Tinsel and Treasures Holiday Market returns to the Cajun Dome Convention Center this weekend. It's to get people into the holiday spirit for the 30th year in a row. News 10's Zane Hogue was there this morning, hanging out with those shopping for a cause. Hey, good afternoon, Darlo. We are here at the Cajun Dome Convention Center for the 30th annual Tinsel and Treasure, where it may be September, but that Christmas spirit is certainly in the air. It even smells like Christmas. Over 100 different vendors from Lafayette and across the country have made their way to the Cajun Dome Convention Center to offer anything from jewelry, clothing, toys, home decor, even food, so folks can get a head start on their holiday shopping. As if we didn't already recommend this event plenty enough, these apples over here, they're a game changer, I'm telling you. There's even word that Santa Claus will be here taking pictures with the kids, and Mrs. Claus will also stop by to enjoy some hot cocoa. But it's much more than just shopping, because the money raised here also helps the community by providing the Junior League of Lafayette funding to advance women's leadership community change and the development of women and children. We always like to bring the community in together. All the money that we raise goes right back to the Lafayette community. This event is what pushes us forward in our community. It's the, what gives us the ability to keep doing our mission. Now I have to run and get some of my shopping done, but anyone else that wants to come to Tinsel and Treasure to get their shopping done early can come anytime between now and Saturday at 3 p.m. General admission tickets are just $15. Here in Lafayette, I'm Zane Ho for KLFY News 10.